Hello everybody, Mike here at Game From Scratch, and today Epic announced the release of Unreal Engine 4.20 Preview 1. Now that Preview 1 is critical. That basically means this is the very, very, very first look at 4.20, and that means it is so not ready for prime time. And let me just say, it is so not ready for prime time. So don't even think about using this in production, but there's a ton of cool stuff that's actually coming in this release. And the one I was probably most excited to see was Niagara. Niagara is their new particle system. It's been under for a couple of years and is now officially available in beta 1. To add this new version, to basically come into the Unreal Engine updater, add a new version, and pick 4.20 Preview 1 as your actual version. The one thing I really wanted to do as part of this video was actually showcase the new Niagara support, this new highly dynamic, uh, scriptable particle system that they just implemented. And yeah, it, it didn't work. I'll actually show you exactly what I meant while we continue on here. So as you can see here, Niagara is actually implemented as a plugin. So Niagara, you'll find it right here. There's also Houdini integration, but you'll see here beta version one. Come on in here, you enable it. And then theoretically, you should be able to use it just like this. Basically create something new, go to FX, create a Niagara system like that. And now you basically should be able to use that somewhat like you would use an existing particle system. So I go in here to bring up the new Niagara editor. And here you can see when we go ahead and I want to say add an emitter or a particle or a system or an engine and kaboom. So there's going to be no Niagara demonstration as part of this video, unfortunately, which is a shame. I'm really looking forward to the Niagara support. It looks really powerful. If you look at their GDC 2018 preview of it, uh, which I will actually link down below. So my demonstration kind of sucks because it just crashes every time I run it. So maybe on your end, you can get it up and going. But what else is in this release? In the announcement, you don't have too much. But if you head on over to the forum, you get an idea of what's actually here. And of course, this is Unreal Engine. So there are a slew of new graphical improvements, including uh, cinematic depth of field, uh, digital human improvements, a rectangular area lighting. Of course, we got um, LOD improvements across the board here for animations, uh, cloth improvements for tapered cloth collisions, uh, some audio updates. Sequencer got a couple of major updates. One of the ones I think that is really going to make people happy, though, is this Final Cut Pro Seven import and export. Uh, so you can take a Final Cut Pro XML file uh, and bring it into a compatible program such as Adobe Premiere and you'll be able to do sequence editing externally to um, Unreal Engine. So if you're work used to a uh, Adobe Premiere production workflow, that'll probably be a biggie for you. Uh, we've also got some uh, new VR and AR improvements including mixed reality capture support, early access on this one. Um, so it in, in, yeah, implements three different components, video input calibration and in-game compositing. Uh, we've also got networking updates, a bunch of mobile updates. Yeah, nothing huge or game critical there. We've got, this one's going to be nice, blueprint bookmarks it, as an experimental version. So you can basically set a, a bookmark in your blueprint. So, you know, if you've got a piece of code you want to jump back and forth to, you could do that now via blueprints. It's weird. There's another game engine I was using recently just added this exact same feature. I uh, don't remember which one, though. Um, on top of that, again, Niagara. Unfortunately, for in my, at least in my case, it is not ready for prime time. Uh, but for you, it may work. But this is basically their new uh, uber awesome uh, particle system that's going to be coming out. Uh, let's see what else. We've got some core updates. And then another one that is relevant here is Visual Studio 2017 will now be the default compiler and will generate project files for Visual Studio 2017 by default, which as someone who has moved beyond Visual Studio 2015, I definitely appreciate that. Now, I know I totally just uh, skimmed over this and there's also some known issues I didn't bother getting into. Uh, you can find out about those right here. So of course, I will link this down below. So sorry, my, uh, my demonstration video sucked. The biggest new flashy feature here was Niagara, and as you saw, I, I, I can't get it to work. But I will, once again, throw that GDC demonstration of Niagara down below so you can see why I was actually kind of excited about that new feature. So that was Unreal Engine 4.20 Preview 1, and as we saw from the crashes, we are talking very early in the release schedule, but you do at least get an idea of what is going to be coming in the upcoming versions of Unreal Engine 4.20 when this finally gets stable. So if you are the dangerous type that likes to walk on the wild side, head on over to the Unreal, um, the Epic Game Launcher and install your preview release and enjoy. All right, that's it for now. Talk to you all later. Goodbye.